one of the questions that we've been asked the most is in the installation instructions it talks about that when you plug when you plug in the yellow or the green leads from the life belt receiver into their respective fuse ports they are polarity sensitive so if you hear a loud buzzing sound that's the relays in the life belt receiver taking power the wrong direction so they're opening and closing and it sounds like a buzzing it's actually opening and closing it should be a clicking but it's happening so fast you hear it. well I'm going to show that to you guys now because all you have to do if you hear that noise is you take well, let me get the right lead you take either the green or the yellow whichever one it could be both but if you hear that noise start with whatever one you want and you've got the starter plugged in okay you're getting the loud buzzing sound that I'm gonna show you in a minute pull off the pigtail pull off the pigtail turn it 180 degrees and plug it back in and what you've done then is you don't have to unplug the micro fuse part the part that's actually plugged into your fuse box because you don't want to dig back into your fuse box you can do it down here at the pigtail at the whip if you will so if you're hearing the loud buzzing sound pull it off turn it 180 degrees plug it back in if the buzzing sound continues then move on to the second lead which is going to be the radio and if you're plugged in, you're still hearing the loud buzzing sound, and we already did the ignition. You're hearing the loud buzzing sound, we've already done the ignition. Pull it loose, turn it 180 degrees, plug it back in. Because, again, the relays in the life belt device are polarity sensitive. So, now you've changed the polarity 180 degrees without ever removing the microfuse from... The fu uh, from the fuse panel. You can do it down here on the whip. It just saves a lot of time and it's a cleaner installation. So now I'm going to try and show you guys that noise real quick. I've set my truck up so that the polarity through the radio fuse, which is located right here, and it runs down and for in just for clean installation, I've tucked it up underneath my kicker panels, but I've pulled it back down so that now the whip is out. So can you see it? All right, Dave? So now the whip's out. And I've reversed the polarities so that now I'm going to get the loud buzzing sound that everyone keeps asking us about through emails and a couple phone calls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my keys in the ignition and you're going to hear the sound. I'm going to show you how easy it is to fix. Okay, keys in. That buzzing sound is the relay trying to take power through the wrong direction. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to pull the relay loose and I'm going to plug it back in correctly. The buzzing sound went away and now all I have is the life belt alarm and so does door alarm.